Welcome back friends. We have discussed that uh, in the genetic level of cancer, normal cell becomes cancerous cells if a mutation occurs in three type of genes. One is the growth, fact, growth regulatory protein uh, encoding genes. Second one is the tumor suppressor genes. And the third one is the apoptotic genes. Now we have seen uh, the effect uh, when the growth regulatory protein genes are affected. Now in this video we will be looking at uh, what happens when the mutation or some fault happens in this uh, tumor suppressor genes. So example of a tumor suppressor gene is P53 and not only an example this is the most important above all tumor suppressor genes. So we can call it the guardian of the genome. Okay so the guardian of the genome. Anyways now what happens in the normal situation this P53 actually regulates uh, the growth and division of cells. Okay and it also helps in the repair of the DNA. So it, it is not a uh, enzyme uh, to repair the DNA but it is a master protein that will recruit other proteins into the site of uh, the cell damage or the DNA damage and tell them to repair it. So it's a master protein in all the way. Now what will happen suppose the DNA damage happen due to uh, for, for example due to the UV radiation. Now what will happen this is a kind of mutation can happen there. Now as a result of that we need to fix it. Otherwise, this mutation can be transferred to the next cells and then the mutation can trigger some change in this normal cell, right? Now what happens if P53 levels rises in the normal situation when any damage happens inside the DNA, it senses the damage and P53 level inside our body give rise. And this rise in the P53 level will help in the G1 arrest of those cells. That means those P53 will recruit other proteins which will in turn sense or tell the cell to arrest its cell cycle at this G1 stage. So they won't be able to go to S phase from the G1 phase due to this P53 increased level. Now after uh, at this time at this G1 phase all the repair enzymes are activated. Now all the repair enzymes for DNA, it's a double stranded break repair or single stranded repair or recombination repair or UV damage, radiation damage repair. All the enzymes are getting upregulated. Now those enzymes will come and help to fix the problem and if it fixes the problem properly then P53 level goes down. It will tell other proteins to come out and, and let the cell allow to move from G1 to S phase and then the division will go. So before the division, this P53 ensures that everything is perfect. Now if anything happens wrong, it will halt the cell at the G1 stage and won't allow it to pass until and unless it will remedy all the bad effects. Okay, now what will happen if we are having less, uh, and, and this is one way of doing it. And another way of P53 to regulate it that sometimes what will happen, damage is so much. The damage is so much that this P53 recruits protein or the proteins that are recruited by P53 cannot be able to repair those damages. Now in those situations P53 also recruits other proteins which can kill the cell via the process called apoptosis or programmed cell death. So either this P53 recruits some proteins which will help to repair the situation and pass the cell to the next uh, stage of the cell division or it will kill the cell. So any of this, so any of this possibility can happen. But these two possibilities make ensured that the cell that we are having are normal, are healthy. Whether the cells which are living are healthy because the DNA which, are, which were damaged previously now is repaired or the cells which are damaged is killed. So none of the bad cell remained after this stage of P53 activation. Okay, so this is a very very important consideration. Now P53 is a guardian, that's why. Because it never allows bad cell to be there inside our body. So if it is a bad, it cannot repair it. It tries to repair it first, but if it cannot repair it, then kill that cells. So no bad cell will be there. So whatever is there is good, is healthy. It is ensured by P53. Okay, now what will happen, suppose same DNA damage is done, but there is no P53 due to a kind of mutation. Due to a kind of mutation in this P53 gene, no P P53 is produced after the damage, even after the damage. In normal cell what we have seen that after the damage the, the level of P53 get increased. But in this case 
the level of p53 is not getting increased because there is no p53 or even if there is p53 it is malfunctioning non functional so as a result no g1 arrest happens and the cells are easily allowed to pass this g1 to the s phase then the cell will go and divide and then finally those cells will go and divide and divide and divide throughout the time at the mutation that they that they had in this case due to the dna damage will be carried to the future generations like that generation of cells in this case so it will be carried to the cells so sooner we will end up with pile of cells with a type of damage into it and these cells will not help us in turn they will problem us they will cause problem for us and they will becoming cancer cells okay so due to the due to uh, due to the absence of this p53 gene or p53 protein here due to uh, not expressing p53 at this point none of these effects are established so no repair and no apoptosis so this tumor suppressor gene in that sense when the p53 is present it won't allow the development of tumor by doing these two things by doing a repair and apoptosis but here absence of p53 lead to uh, easy pass of this uh, damaged cells from g1 to s so they can go and divide and divide uh, further generations for the times and also as a result there is no p53 there will not be any apoptosis so finally the the cells cannot die and the tumor is generated and that's how a normal cell can become cancer cells if there is some change in this or mutation in this tumor suppressor gene like p53 there are also different tumor suppressor genes like p21 and others but p53 is the most important above all okay so i hope this will help you to understand the process in detail thank you